All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. How are you today? I hope you're doing all right. It's finally time that we got to the uh, the trial of water. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little. But it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed, and there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Mm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Okay, lovely. Um, is there a crafting? No, there isn't a crafting bench down, down in the village. So hopefully there's one inside. Standard cave thus far. Look, what it's the old carcass. If you poured some sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep. Well, I kind of got to wait for them to go away. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Hold on, let's, let's do that again. <laughs> oh, where is this? Siora, my uh, comp if you... and let's see what we can get up to. Look. They're eating the old carcass. If you poured some sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep. Slowly this time. You did it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Good. Slow and steady. to the cave for the try. Oh, I thought I was already in. All right, so, where are we headed? Follow this path, I guess. We'll see what's up here. I need a bit of practice. Uh, damn it. Okay, can't jump that. Probably could have avoided that if I was able to jump over gaps. Yep, it just slid me right down. Watch out, another. Where? Oh, there. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. 
Visions like this are guides, keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then, the sun warmed me. And suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. Okay, so... Uh, let's see if we can figure this out. What is this? This stone is blackened. Eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. What is this, wind? This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. Okay, so like they, like I just said in the vision. And then this one is, is that the sun maybe? On this stone, the sun is visible. What's this? The drawing on this stone fire. makes me think of fire. I'm certain. Life. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Is this ice? Here. This looks like a snowflake. Snow or maybe ice. Okay, so there's that one. Um... Wait, shit. Hold still. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Okay, so, and then... That's death. That's... This is the sun, right? On this stone, the sun is visible. And then... Water, This right? stone is adorned yes. with Yes. Alright, so... Hopefully... That gave us something. Did it, did it open anything? Did it... And that dog seems not non-hostile. Oh, it stood down! Oh, wait, what? What just happened? Oh, it just it moved! <laughs> This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi, and a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Einon Mil Frichtemann. Oh, we're back outside. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Glendan. Let's turn on that light again. Tear to mud on all Manawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. Thank you. Hello, my friend. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tear Fridi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In the second room, you have awoken the Dosentats to better best them. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enon Mil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request. If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. 
Only a high king or high queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warned you. Your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince him as well. Where can I find him? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your part to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Oh shit. Since then we have not heard from him. <coughs> he was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan, and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes. I heard about your loss, Siora. On the Vorsh Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the Vorsh Tirse. Thank you, Glinda. Dedra is the Mal of the Clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I have already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the Mal of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. Yeah, I've met them all. It is said that he welcomes the Renaixe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendan. Kwaawalam said. I hope that you will find him. All right, so we've got a little bit of a journey to go on. Are we reporting to Constantine first, or are we trying to find uh, the High King? Yep, okay. Off we go into the wilds once more. Okay. Wait, what did that say in the top corner? Up we go. My dearest cousin Constantine. Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams. From men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding, like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You were dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Donegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes, a, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, milady. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. 
I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Uh, ask him where the attack took place. Why didn't he investigate? The purpose of the expedition. What was the purpose first? My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition, but your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into again? I am sorry, milady. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Maybe Katasak thought of a possible cure and Constantine team was just like headlong into it. Why didn't he investigate? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path, but he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. And where, uh, nope, uh, why didn't you investigate? Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, milady. Okay, well, shit. <sighs> Looks like uh, we've got some issues. Is this a do no? Searching for Constantine. Question Daedra Ulan. Okay. Fuck. It's kind of a higher importance that we find him. Where are we headed? Um, <laughs> okay, so, excuse me, over there, we could stop by and ask Ulan along the way. See what he might have to say. This is the wrong door. This is the correct door. Uh, let's just go straight to the camp because honestly I uh I think I trust asking maybe not cut this up maybe Dunka uh more thanks for the follow critties how you doing I don't know, even know if I said that right, but screw it. I tried my best. All right, let's see if we can find him. First, let's pick some berries. Nope, that is the wrong map. Just to the south. Found Animal the corpses. Who's left? Oh, over there. Oh, uh, let's see. Good dummy. Oh, yeah. Twitch doesn't fix the things it needs to fix. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I 
I know I did too. Uh, it's just been a long time since I've played it, so this I'm kind of. This is the kinda... that Constantine's escort must have established. Hazily remembering stuff. Did this, but combat, a deadly one. I sure hope our little governor has escaped the carnage. Search the area. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what happened here. Okay, so a lot of clues. Oh, you never beat it? Well, you can come along when we beat it. The tents are lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some really? of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Killed in their sleep? Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise and... Animals were amongst the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies, and no sign of the presence of Constantine or Katasa. Perhaps they were in another place, and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. I mean, there are like three bodies thus far, but let's see if we can find the tracks. Make that four bodies. One of the guardsmen. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the area and taken this path followed by their assailants. Yes, yes, Yora is. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It Explosions. isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Maybe so. Perhaps. But there are bodies. And without a doubt, there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. Alright. I got a little ahead of myself. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly to the end. <sighs> Neither Constantine nor Katazak are amongst them. With these explosive flasks? The crater. Without a doubt, caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. But yeah, you gotta love Seal. Oh, what's this? This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight. But a group escaped down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. Uh, let's see what we can find up here. Some native magic usage. Or, no, he formed a bridge. What about fix fixing it? Probably not. No tracks. Footprints. The ones who got away fled this way. Burning tree. Strange. These trees look half calcinated. As if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? What are these? Tenlin corpses? I think these are Tenlin corpses. Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. <laughs> Can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. I mean, if they had a good alchemist the with them. soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again? Or something else?
new footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. Bigger animals, tougher animals. They're not only corpses of our own men. Where could these other soldiers have come from? These are coin guard. But I couldn't tell you if they served the Bridge Alliance or Teleme. Yeah, they don't have an emblem on them. Just regular breastplates. More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? The hell is this? Any more uh, things to search? Let's see, let's grab this. Let's follow the trail. There are footprints. Only a handful made it up here. I mean, yeah, because it'll either kill you or do some unspeakable things to you. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katazak. Oh, that does virtually nothing to this beast. Hold on, let me, let me try something. That does even less, but at least it works. Probably need a new sword, just in general. Oh no, guns can be really good in the game. Very good. These rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. But what could have happened here? Just, I wouldn't recommend trying to go gun exclusive in the game. I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the Bridge Alliance close by. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge be in some way linked to this attack? That makes no sense. No, but no, I, I'd say if you're gonna try like mainly do guns, pair it up with magic. These vials look familiar. Katasak used the very same to stock his potions. He came all the way here. I'm going to pick them up. There's a... Maybe Katasak's weapon? I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine. What have you gotten yourself into again? Very well. Let some things up. Constantine and Katazak definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katazak. Unless... he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegat. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he can now apply leverage to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. Regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. Perhaps we could return to Wenchavier in order to learn more. Katazak may have returned there. His Voglendig might be able to tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers participated in the combat. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories to tell us. I doubt that the Alliance would have decided to openly attack their ally. Don't forget that they owe their continued presence on the island to you. And thanks to you, too. But their men were there on the cliff. And Constantine is no longer among us. Maybe those men are still loyal to the preceding commander. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Okay. 
So let's go over to that outpost if we can, since it's right there. We gotta work our way down south. And I can't be lazy and fast travel over there. But uh, yeah, no shocker, email. You didn't get an email from Twitch. <laughs> And as for classes in this game, I think they kind of made it so that classes are, uh, are a primary starting point, not something you stick to. That's just me, though. That's kind of how I play it. Who's... Oh, they saw us from all the way over there? Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that still depends on which Dragon Age you're talking about, but, like, definitely can't pull it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Inquisition. <laughs> Although, I've played Dragon Age with a, uh, with a mod that uh, allows you to have all class abilities. I've never had so much fun in a game. <laughs> no, I bought it on PC. I'm playing I'm playing this on PS4 right now, but <laughs> but I I bought it on PC just so I could try out some mods. And I love I love that. I even downloaded a mod where you can play with a controller and everything, so I was right in my comfort zone. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? De Sade. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay. But we don't get many, uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, milady? Can you help me out a little bit? I am looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died, but we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive, wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. 
yesterday. We heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men. And you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Insist, speak, bribe him. <laughs> Screw it, why not? I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I am sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? N uh, nope, thank you. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Oh, uh, but no, it wasn't ink. I was talking about Inquisition mods. I haven't seen any mods for Origin. Uh, let's see. Can I? Where's the health potions? Did I pass them? There you go. Ah, damn it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, like, grab Afra or something when I get back to a camp. Where is this, uh... Knock, knock! Hello, Doctor! What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him, but alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Okay, I hope to the gods that I don't need science for it, because I don't have a single piece of science. Uh, wait, where was that crafting bench? Down here? Oh, you used to make mods? Jesus. I have never been a- I, I don't even know where to begin with that. Shit. Alright. Running time. Jesus, dude. 200? Anything cool or just like, um, just like cosmetic stuff? Or I guess cosmetic stuff is cool too. Fucking love cosmetics for Inquisition. Wait, nope. Gotta summon Afra. That, okay, that's awesome. Oh, Dasade, I'm happy to see you. Didn't mean Can to I speak to you. I must leave you. Uh, compose.
Just need one, right? And since she's here... Need two science for that, damn it! Alright, what about health potions? Make that an even 50. <laughs> okay. Um, potions. How many do I have now? 67. <laughs> oh, God. And really, it's that toxic? I never, I never would have thought about that that way. <laughs> I mean, cause like I would think at least for larger mods, it requires a lot of cooperation. So I would never really think that it would be that bad. But geez. I mean, yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Why do I need to speak to you? Or do I just need to give you the potion? Were you able to concoct the potion against Burns? Yep, here. Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. We must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Okay. So nap time. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't think there would be modern community civil wars and bands. Okay. Time to take a long 24 hour nap. thought ne Nexus being like the primarily known one would have been ran pretty well. <laughs> well. I mean that okay, proving your worth is a little bit elitist. It's it, it's mods. Like come on. Hello, friend. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. <laughs> I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days and we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming. 
in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantin Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching the rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes. It's best I leave you now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. <sighs> All right. Let's go speak to the captain. Yeah, that sounds pretty shitty. I mean, I guess that's basically why on most platforms, I'm a lurker. Because people are toxic everywhere. Excellency. I was told that you saved my soldier. I did. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good woman, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Okay. Uh, yes, I have played it. Not on stream, but, like, long time ago. Oh, that is the wrong button. So where are we headed? On the way up there. I'm gonna be lazy and fast travel. <laughs> okay. I guess some sort of community meme or something. Travel. Excellent. I mean, I can I can definitely see why you'd be doing that if it's that. Authoritarian isn't the right word, but, uh, unforgiving, I guess. Or toxic. We can just go toxic.
Yeah, please don't get me banned by putting them in chat. Let's not do that. All right, dead end. What do you know? Hello. Rinaigse, there you are again. What do you want? I am looking for Katasak and Constantine. To speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who was protecting him. Katasak, one of your greatest Donegad. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasak. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasak, and avorst, dire. He died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea. But we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there. And many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaigse? Examine him, to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there. ...and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body... ...you will pay for this offense with your life. Thank you, Criddles. Where, where is he? He's outside? This way? Am I just sorta zigzagging through the ruins? Nope, there's gotta be stairs some oh, or a, or a cliff. A small ledge. Katasak. Holy shit! Seeing the state of his body, I hate myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Donegad, to have doubted your loyalty. And even more for what we are about to do. Now then. Let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. You can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or musket shot. The main wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the extent that the skin has been torn, and the ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Kadazak bore the brunt of this attack of incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that would have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we are tracking a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine Anadaig behaving like this. 
It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned? Or angered by what happened to Katazak? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives. Your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same. There is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatala's Fair. The Anatala's Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernaha. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Well, okay. That, uh... Boy. Well, when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we'll see if we can convince her to help us out. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.